and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 68 level worker quest. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here at the level worker guild in Ogridania at 12.8. So let's talk to Ataloon. The quest is called The Trouble of Taxi Dermy. So you notice that oh so familiar glimmer is back in Ataloon's eyes today. Interesting, interesting. So, ah, number 72. Come to uh, bask in the splendor of our Dalmel Mount, I see. Well, this is no time for gawping. Rather, it is time to resume our work. So, I pity we could not add a bear to our collection. But even alone, the Dalmel has garnered no small amount of attention. On more than one occasion, I've, been, I've seen people stopping to read the signboard I posted. I can't believe so many people are coming to see something I helped to create. The next mount will be even better. Outrageous. How dare this happen without my consent. Who's this guy? This is why everyone has been crowding about the Level Workers Guild of late. What sort of sick twisted joke is this? So that's one of the heroes. What does he want with us? I assure you, sir, this is no joke. This mount was fashioned in an attempt to pre... The elementals weep for this poor creature. How they cry out in anger. An affront to the Twelve's wood, if ever there was. To ignore it is to invite the green rafts upon us all. So, you three, are you responsible for this? By the order of the Conjurer's Guild, I demand that you take down this grotesque... At the grotesquery at once. So take it down, but all our hard work. Interesting. So we have to dismantle it, never mind. So, ugh, the nerve of that man. It took every ounce of my being to hold my tongue. So that close-minded fool, how can he be not see the benefits of our work? The opportunity we offer the Gridanians to learn about other animals that live beyond the borders of the Twelveswood. And he dares to call himself a hero. How he abuses his position that he might do as he pleases. The sight of him is enough to make my skin crawl. Aham, uh -huh, excuse me, I got a little carried away there. Though it pains me to concede to such wine, we cannot deny the will of the elementals. I have no doubt one of your talents could quickly resolve the situation, but this requires a more civilized approach. Indeed, we must settle this in a matter um, as befitting naturalists. Hmm, the Level Worker Guild is certain to have dealt with similar opposition in the past. Number 72, go and speak with Giva and see what advice she has to offer on the matter. Okay, so... Let's go talk to her. Jumperoonie. So, the woman of the hour, with everyone stopping by to have a look at that mountain side, I knew it was only a matter of time before you came. What can I do for you? Well, I mean, if you knew, then you should know. They did now? So did they now? You know that there was a time when leather goods were criticized as being extravagant and wasteful. It took a great deal of effort on the part of the leather workers here, but eventually opinion changed. They had to prove what they made was worth the cost of life sacrificed in the process. Unless you can do the same with your mounts, you won't be convincing the heroes of anything. So actually, that gives me an idea. I'll meet... Oh, sorry, I need to prepare a few things first though. In the meantime, I would have you attend to something else. We're going to need a diamond skin jacket, and I think none better than you to make it. Besides, it's been too long since I've seen your work. Rendell will have everything you need at the front desk. When you've finished, I would have everything uh, ready for the next step in my plan. Cool. 
So Giva's been sated once we hit level 50, but she is mean. At the beginning of the journey with level worker, she is horrible. So good to see you. I trust that you've been keeping busy. Goodness knows we have all these commissions we've received of late. Um, but enough of my rambling. As Guildmaster Giva tells me, you have much work to do. Here is the Dharma lever as requested. If you uh, should have need of more, pray do not hesitate to ask. Cool. So let us see. Let's talk. Let's eat. It's like I almost thought, like, oh yeah, I don't need to craft anything. It will just magically turn into high quality by itself. So dashing jacket. Synthesize. Go. Synthesize. Micro, micro, micro. So the way this micro works, comfort zone in a quiet, steady hand two. And then five basic touches. If there's a good or an excellent, it uses precise touch instead. So now, for example, precise touch. So the macro is good enough to actually distinguish between the two. And then steady hand two. If I was manual crafting at that moment, I would have um, instead used Tricks of the Trade, but whatever. It's not really needed. So then, Master of Men 2. Steady Hand. Great Strides. Innovation. And then Bygot's Blessing, 100%. And then Ingenuity 2, and we do 5 Careful Synthesis 2s. Actually, to be honest, we do more like 7. We do as many as is needed to finish off the craft. All right, done, easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's talk to her. So, how's the jacket coming along? I hope my faith in you after all this time has, hasn't been misplaced. So let's hand it in, hand over. So, you've impressed me, Mifri. I was worried you might have forgotten what you learned here, but it's clear that you've done quite the opposite. Well done. A compliment from Giva? That's weird. Uh, excuse me, is Mifri here? Miss Ataloon wants to speak with her. She says it's quite urgent. So, right on time. Come here for a moment. I need you to try this jacket. A jacket? What about Miss Ataloon? And who are you, anyway? She doesn't know the guild master or the level worker guild? So there we are. How's it fit? It is actually quite nice. I usually hate leather clothes because they're so stiff when new, but this is quite soft. It's fairly light and warm too. I imagine whoever uses this will be grateful to have it. Yep. So it's time we move on to the next part of the plan. A level worker's exhibition with that jacket on to display. But there's no time for an exhibition. We're busy enough as it is fighting to keep our Dalmad mount. Which is precisely why you'll be putting on the display together. The mere mention of an exhibition will be enough to draw a sizable crowd. This will afford Ataloon an opportunity to teach people about the endangered Dalmals of a la Fia, or Bafia, whatever it's called. I've already reserved uh, Miko, Mikito's amphitheater. All we need now are the mounts uh, she would have on display. Uh, that's a great idea, miss. I'll go and inform her right away. So, miss, he hasn't the slightest idea who I am, does he? I suppose it can't be helped for now. Be sure to give Atalu my regards. Cool. So, Ataloon, Ataloon. Let us talk to her. Oops, sorry, wrong entrance. Damn it. And we split. So, oh, number 72. If only you had come sooner. I left only for a moment, but in my absence, uh, Mar Marmaduke and his gaggle of goons made off with our mount. What came of your talks with Giva? I should hope uh, some good may yet come of all our efforts. 
or rip mount. So instruction under the guise of the level work exhibition. Yes, that just might work. Giva has ever been one with an eye for opportunity. First, we must deal with Marmaduke and his attempts to deny good people of Gridania an opportunity to enlighten themselves. Uh, before our work was stolen, I took it upon myself to speak with an associate of mine, another hero of the Conjurer's Guild. When I broached the subject of our mount and the elementals, um, apparent dissatisfaction with using animal skins in such fashion, he was completely and utterly bewildered. In truth, neither the hearers of the Conjurer's Guild nor the Seedseers have expressed any opposition to our work. Marmaduke merely uses the elementals as an excuse to impose his ideals on others. Well, he is not the only one with influence here in Gridania. One way or another, we shall have a mount for our exhibition. Cool. So let's complete. Cool. And obviously, this will all come to an end um, when we do the level 70 quest. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.